This is video number three on making your mouth charts. Now, if you remember in the last video, I'm going to go into my library. We created our first four mouths. We have our closed mouth, which was on frame number one. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to scrub on the timeline. You'll see on frame number one, we have drawing number one. On frame number two, we have, I'm going to make sure I have the right one. We have drawing number two. On frame number three, we have drawing number three. And on frame four, we have drawing number four. Now, why do I set it up like this? Well, let's go to our drawing view. If I go to frame three, I have a closed mouth. And I want to use, I want to basically create an in-between between the closed mouth and my wide open mouth. So by having on frame four the exposure, I can now turn on my onion skin, and that will show me my previous mouth. And what I can do is I'm going to just create a slightly more open mouth, or less open mouth. So let's pull it down. We'll try and create, and I can just maybe make it something like this. And I'll fix that end like we did in the previous one. And sometimes what I like to do is I like to go back and, and maybe I've made that a little bit too thin. Let's just widen it out a bit. And I'm going to just make this one. Oops. Just a little bit. Oops. Let's go in by contractor. Closer to that. And I'm going to put this line in now. Maybe it's a little bit wider. And now I'll just cut this away. And I will go in and I'll grab the teeth from number four because I want the teeth to be exactly the same. So I'm going to move on the timeline and just grab these teeth. Oops, grab my selection tool and grab my teeth, copy them, go back to frame three, paste them. And maybe I'll grab my tongue as well, Con control C, and go to frame number three, control V, and I'll just move that one up a little bit. And let's just cut away any lines that we don't need. Just gonna grab my cutter. I'll cut that away. And I'll cut that little guy away there too. So now I'm gonna cut this one away as well. So we have a nice clean mouth. So now if I go to frame number one, we have a closed mouth. Frame number two, we have a closed mouth. Frame number three, we have a slightly open. And frame number four, we have a wide open. You can see how it's starting to look like he's got some math positions. Let's quickly do frame, let's quickly do number B as well. Again, I'm going to turn on my onion skin. That shows me my last two previous mouths. And I can see that I tapered this mouth. So let's go to number three and put a little taper in there as well. By grabbing our pencil editor, maybe putting a, a point by holding control and clicking. And now we have something that, that kind of looks the same. Okay, go back to frame one, frame two, and now we can make our clenched teeth, our clenched mouth. So again, I'll go back in. So maybe put it somewhere in between. Hold Q, Q is contour editor. Right, we'll just make something like this. Let's go back into my pencil editor, thin it out a bit, so I can. and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna make the, I'm just gonna actually grab that piece of my tongue, I mean my my teeth, copy it, go back to number th two, paste it, and I'll just make sure it's long enough that it doesn't 
then I can close the gap. So let's just go to cutter. Let's cut that away and cut this away. And we'll put a little line in here as well. Of course, every mouth is a little bit different. So what do we have now? I'm going to go to here, turn this on. I'm just going to, now I'm going to take a look at what I have. If I select my mouth, the camera view, I'm going to have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm not going to paint them yet. You notice I don't paint anything at this point. All right, so frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four, as far as the substitutions go. Okay, when you come back, I'm going to do maybe one or two more mouths, and you're going to get an idea of all of the steps.